You know, every now and then I get to visit Maui, and the reason why I do go to Maui is <clears throat> uh, Steve Grimes, who made this ukulele, and Eric Devine, who is another very, very good builder, uh, both live on Maui. So it's wonderful periodically to go visit them because both of them, uh, individual, are acknowledged, uh, each of them, I should say, is acknowledged um, to be among the best uh, ukulele builders in the world. So it's my pleasure to share with you uh, this tenor ukulele that was made by Steve Grimes. Uh, first of all, with regard to the, the, the wood combination that he chose, uh, this top uh, is redwood, uh, and the side, you can see the side has a side port uh, in it, and the back are African blackwood. So this is a, a wood instrument, black back and sides, red on top, both woods. Um, and so with regard to uh, another design aspect, you see that uh, there are these two sound holes here as opposed to one big one here. But also, uh, Steve chose to add a side port here. I really enjoy side ports uh, because what the side port does is to, uh, is to take a part of the sound and, and focus it right up at the player, uh, which I appreciate because it's almost like having a, a kind of a mini sound system. Um, and so, uh, as you, as you can see, the design, uh, the, the design of this ukulele is, uh, is, is a very, is, is a wonderfully simple design. And the ukulele is not what I would term to be over blinged. And with regard to <clears throat> action playability of this ukulele and holding chords, what I especially appreciate, thank you, Steve, uh, is the fact that this ukulele, the, uh, the, the touch, the feel of this ukulele is very light. Uh, there is absolutely no need uh, for me to try and put the death grip on this ukulele just to hold the chord. So again, Steve, thank you for that. In terms of sound, I want to tell you the, the wonderful, wonderful thing about sound with this ukulele. I personally prefer, as you can tell, this is tuned high G. My personal preference is just is uh, is to play a low G because I like that sound better. It has nothing to do with right, wrong, good, or bad. It just has to do with preference. Because one of the wonderful things about ukuleles is that the design of the ukulele uh, uh, permits not only the builder but the player as well, to put some things uh, into the design of the ukulele that, uh, that appeal to them. I want to tell you that this ukulele will very, very much appeal to a lot of you. It does appeal to me, despite the fact that I'm not a high G player. So what I would like to do is play your song. Uh, and this is one of my favorite songs to play on the ukulele. It's killing me softly. The reason why I want to play you this song is to highlight what I think is is right and wonderful about the sound of this ukulele. And, and it has to do with these, oh, how I would describe it, angelic highs uh, that uh, this ukulele has. So... Um, I play this song, it's, it's one of my favorite songs to play, and I always play it. I always play it on a low G instrument. Uh, but I want to play you this song uh, as, as kind of a tribute and to say, Steve, thank you so much, because this is a wonderful, wonderful instrument, killing me softly.
wonderful sound. <laughs>